Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I feel like I am actually filming in a sauna right now because it is so scorching hot right now. I just, I couldn't even address the hair. The thought of pulling out a blow dryer was just like, not gonna happen. So excuse the hair. It is just a little bit toasty and the air conditioning is off so you don't have to listen to that annoying sound. But it doesn't really matter because today what we are playing with is a new mascara, which it's actually a perfect day to test drive this out because you know, the hotter you are, the more you really live in your day, the better you can really see how a product is going to perform, in my opinion. This is the new one from Givenchy. This is the Noir Interdit and we are going to test it out. And you might be thinking, uh, okay, why is that a weird mascara? It's just mascara. But no, you would be wrong. This is a mascara that has the weirdest applicator. Check it out, guys. So A, the brush does not wrap all the way around. It just has the bristles on one side, but that's not what's weird. This is what's weird. Ah, okay. You gotta make sure you're doing it the right way but it bends. I'm having flashbacks of the Hot Tools iron that I used that actually turned out to be really pretty great. I'll link that video below. But does this not look like that? Like, why do I feel like this is one of those masquerade masks? And I'm like, like it's just, this is a mascara wand? I mean, I don't know. I, mm, we're gonna do it. This is kind of a weird tool. You can go back in the cap and like twist it to be like this or straight, but then I think maybe it might bend if you're using too much pressure. I don't know, we're gonna figure this out together. I'm gonna see how it wears all day long and then we'll decide if it is worth the hype. This just launched. So this is supposed to give you a lash extension effect. So we're gonna lengthen our lashes and it has buildable volume, meaning you can go back in and build the coats up. So let's just get down to what we wanna see happen and apply the mascara. All right, guys, we're going in. I have my weird wand ready. The surprising thing is this mascara smells like roses. Okay, we're gonna go in. Ooh, dang, these bristles are sharp. This feels a little scary, like I might bump my nose with this thing and then get black everywhere. I guess you can flip the wand around. It's just, it is a little bit awkward to hold, so there is that, but it's actually, it's doing a good job. It's making my lashes look really nice. Ugh. You cannot press too hard though. It's like, because the bristles are all so wide and hard, it hurts your eye if you get too close. Okay, so it's not transferring. That's good. It's giving decent volume. I don't see a huge lengthening type of an effect. We're just going for it and <laughs> going on the lower lash line. Oh, this is scary. This is terrifying. Okay, now I wanna see if I just make the brush normal, what happens? Oh, it doesn't like snap back. So you have control to kind of use it really however you want. I didn't think I would like this so much, but I'm quite enjoying myself with this weird mascara wand. Why is this like making you wanna play with your mascara? It's the weirdest thing. La 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 la. Calm down, Tati. You almost got black on your eyelid. Okay, you guys, this is pretty nice mascara. It is kind of burning my right eye at the moment though, which is a little bit alarming. I am going to have to see if that goes away or not. Ow. It went on nice, my lashes look cute. I need to see if this wears all day, if it smears, what the full deal is. So I am just gonna leave it as it is right now and I will check in with you guys in a little bit and we'll see how many hours of wear time we can get out of this super crazy weird wanded mascara from Givenchy. So we are at a check-in and it has actually been many, many hours and the mascara, you guys, I thought I wasn't gonna like this, but it has not smudged. So let's take a look. It's been hot out, let's keep that in mind. There hasn't been any transfer, no flaking at all, which I'm super happy with. And right now because of the heat, I am craving a Slurpee. 
and it's free Slurpee day. So we're gonna go get Slurpees. What All if they're right. sold out? They won't be. What'd you forget? Keys, don't wanna leave those in the car. Oh. Slurpee, Slurpee. Oh, cotton candy. It's free Slurpee day. Oh my God, get the cups at the counter. One per person. Hurry, go. Why do you look so confused? What are you gonna get? You want a lid? Oh shit. God dang it. Yes. Ooh. The struggle is real. Guys, we are at the very end of the day. I had my Slurpee fix. That was fantastic. My mascara has not flaked. It has not smudged. It has stayed looking beautiful all day long. I am really impressed with this product. I'm actually surprised that I'm impressed because I thought it was kind of, you know, one of those hokey pokey things. It's like, what can we do to mascara to make it look so interesting and cool? I know, let's break the wand in half and people will buy it just to try it. Wait, that's kind of what I did. Anyway, people will buy it just to try it and it won't work, you know, but at least this mascara with that whole bent option with the wand, it does work. It's crazy, it does work. It has a ton of bristles on there, which if you are an aggressive mascara putter on her, like I am, like I go in there and I'm like, I want these lashes to look good and I really go to town. You kind of can't do that with this brush because the bristles are so firm. So I would say go in gently, Build gently, don't stab your eye out. Nobody wants that. And aside from that, I don't think I had any issues. It did kind of burn a little bit when I first put it on, which I was like, great, I'm gonna be allergic to this. Like that's not a good sign, but that went away really quickly. And then throughout the day, I kept looking in the mirror going, wow, this is not smudging, flaking. There's no transfer up here. It's holding a curl. It's still looking good. So I am thoroughly impressed with this. I do think that I still absolutely adore my Lash Paradise for 10 bucks from the drugstore. So don't think that me saying this one is good means that we all have to run out and buy a $29 mascara. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just giving you the lowdown that it actually did work. And that's that. I'll definitely reach for it again. It was really good on the lower lashes too. So good job, Givenchy. You're so fancy, I love it. Who thought of a bent mascara wand? Brilliant. And uh, that's where we're gonna leave this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share the video, leave those comments, and I will see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.